Today we're going to talk about the newest upgrade we did for the battery kit. Let's begin. Greetings and God bless you all. As I already mentioned, today I'm going to show you the new upgrade that is already available in all the kits we have in stock. And we also have them individually for those who already have the kit on their homes. The main reason for this upgrade is very simple. First, let's talk about the screws. Many of you have complained about the type of screw that I'm using for the battery kit and my main reason to use them because, you know, they were cheap and they were easy to get them locally. And when I started making the kits, it's what I had available at hand. But the main reason also about changing them is that when you screw this down to the PVC, if you tie them too strong, they lose the grip. So they're not that good because there are drywall screws that are meant to be attaching drywall to metal. And right now we're just attaching the PCB to a piece of PVC. So this is the first upgrade. We're gonna remove that and we're gonna use this type of screw, which is called a self-piercing screws or something like that. They have a higher strength when it comes to grip and for the new spacer, they work really good. And also one of the biggest upgrades that we're going to do is the spacer. And it's very simple one because this is just, you know, this is PVC. This is just a, a piece of plastic. And one of the issues that I've seen is that it doesn't have the pre-installed holes that you need for the screws. So whenever you try to attach the PCB to the spacer, you need to toggle around trying to find the, like the dead center to start screwing it. It's not the best and simple way to install or to put together one of the modules. So this thing is out and this is the new piece that we're going to be working with. This is the new spacer, which is, it comes unassembled and it's basically two main pieces like this one, which is going to have the grooves as you, some of you saw it on the first model that we had. So this is basically the same thing. It's just that we couldn't find a way to make this this size. First, if I build this or manufacture this the same way that I do this, the amount of material that it's gonna take is way too much and it's gonna make it really heavy and also really expensive. So we took the whole idea from the grooves and make these. And technically it's just two pieces that it's going to be attached together by this dowels i call them dowels but they're not dowels it's just a, a, a few spacers and all you have to do is put them together in the holes doesn't matter which way you put them it's just, as long as you put them and just like that you dance around a little bit it's like playing with legos and that's it then you have your spacer so as you can see this is the difference between them they have the same size when it comes to, to the length, but also this one is just so much easier to uh, attach it and to install it. So when you do an installation or when you assemble one model, all you have is to, once you have all your spacers, they come all of them with pre-installed or pre-attached or pre-drilled holes. And all you have to do is just place your PCB there that's it start assembly just like that you start screwing it This one is super easy to, to install because all you have to do is align the PCB with the holes and that's it. And of course you don't you don't need a drill to assemble one of this model, but it's just so much easier.
and just like that, you have a module. You see, pre-install holes, pre-drill holes, spacer, and all you have to do now is just take your batteries, and this is something that I heard that some of you are shorting the batteries because you don't pay attention the way you're putting them together. But now all you have to do is just place them one next to the other one and you know, make sure they are facing the right direction and then all you have to do is start pushing them down just like that. And now what it used to be easy and simple to do, which is a module or for a battery pack, now it's 10 times easier and faster. And as you saw, I just put 10 batteries together in a module. And this is how it looks in the middle. There's uh, some gaps in between, so it allows the airflow to pass through it. So it keeps them cooler for long, uh, for, keeps them cooler longer. And like I said, all you have to do is put the batteries. The spacing they have is perfect. Like you don't have to mess around with like moving around trying to find the, the, the dead center to it and you know just push it just like that so like i said what it used to be an easy easy super fast way to build a power wall or a battery pack now it's 10 times faster and easier so hope you guys like it for more information, just go to DIYBatteryStore.com and we're going to upgrade the kit with the new spacer and with the new set of screws. So hopefully that's going to give you a faster and better way to build a power wall, which is safer also. So thank you for watching. God bless you all and I'll see you the next time. Bye.